I'm back at the airport all over again. This time I'm going to Sydney for two days. I feel like, I feel like I went through all of this very recently. So as usual, when I'm in travel mode, I'm in work mode. I've finished rough cut editing one of next month's videos or three weeks from now for a sponsor. Uh, and then on the flight, I'll be editing some of my VR content. So I don't expect to get that done, but I'll get, you know, a little bit of it set up. I gotta be honest, it's starting to catch up on me a bit. It's, I didn't get a weekend because last weekend I was, you know, doing max and then coming home, but I was working nonstop. So I actually haven't had a break since I left for the US and November, December is the busiest time of year for us. So it's starting to wear me out, but I'm looking forward to Friday afternoon and then taking this coming weekend. That's my saving grace. So uh, the Wacom gallery and event thingy is from 6, so it's currently nearly 3.30, so I have a couple of hours and guess what? I'm going to be doing some editing and working on that table there. It's a funny thing because I've done more travel for work in the last year than I have done travel for work in my entire life. So, like, you would think I would get to see and do cool things, and, but if I'm not doing the work things for the reason I'm there, like interviewing people, or getting footage, or doing an event, or attending a convention or conference, I'm in a hotel room, or Airbnb, or whatever it is, and I'm working. <laughs> Boring, huh? <laughs> oh, this is why I'm exhausted. Because I'm working between the times that I'm working. And it's even worse because I'm away from home, so it's like harder to rejuvenate yourself and feel energetic about stuff because it's just like work, work, work. But this will be the last travel for the work in a while, um, at least this year. So nearly there. This what needs to happen is I need to get to the stage where I'm like Casey Neistat and I can just contact airline companies and be like, hey guys. Just give me like a surprise free upgrade and I'll pretend like it's a coincidence, like I'm not promoting you. And then I can just like fly first class and stay at a $23,000 a night hotel. Let's do that. So the thing about traveling is it can be expensive, especially when you need to catch Ubers places. And it's all the stuff you don't think of when you think of going to a place. And one of those things is food that sort of catches you by surprise. But I'm prepared this time because I've packed two days worth of peanut butter sandwiches and random food bars. <laughs> oh yeah! Ah, nom, 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 nom. Sandwich! Alrighty, I've made good progress, but the time has come and I'm all businessed up. So, time to get going. So I'm hoping I get a chance to play around with their new mobile work studio, which is the next version of the Cinti Companion 2. You will have seen through today's vlog and the other travel videos that um, I've been doing all my editing on the go on my Cinti Companion 2, so it's been super useful. Um, and I'm really interested to see that if they have these things on display, how they compare, you know? So this is just going through the undo history of ZBrush, of a little sketch that I started working on. Wow. So at this point, it's merely a sketch, so I'm actually about to change the shape because I'm not happy with the overall shape. And this software allows you to just sketch and create like 3D um, concepts basically. So once you're happy with it, you can detail it and finish it up. Um, so I'm just gonna go, go ahead and do that.
So we're just gonna hold, hold this like a teeny tiny reporter microphone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, cool, <laughs> cool. So uh, what's your name? My name's Bill Hope. Sweet, and uh, show us your artwork. Okay, this is my artwork over here. So this is my one, uh, is Blob Tower. It's a digital drawing I did uh, a couple of months ago, and I'm pretty sure it was in the vlog uh, like a month ago. Exactly. Months ago. Yeah. You'll probably remember if you saw when I was at the Melbourne Gallery, I l literally pointed this one out and said it was my favorite. And this is the guy that made it, so, yeah. so I'm kudos. There. I'm drawing at the, uh, awesome. the Michael event here in Sydney. That's awesome, man. It's so good to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, good to meet you too. Sorry? I just, I just bought that. Oh, yeah, and this guy bought hey. the world. I yeah, own yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small world. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Wacom Cintiq Pro 13, which, just so you know, isn't officially announced until next week. So you guys heard it here first, but uh, this is an upcoming model of the Wacom Cintiq. This isn't a companion, this isn't a uh, standalone, but this is a tablet input device. But it's a really gorgeous design, very similar, as you can tell, to the uh, 27 QHD. So it also is a full QHD display. And it has a similar form factor, which is great, because that's a, definitely one of my favorite things about the QHD, the 27 inch, sorry, is, is how it feels and how it looks and is designed. It's really seamless. So the Cintiq device over there that Bill was using is a 13 inch and this is the 16 inch and it's the Mobile Studio Pro 16. As you can see, Pen2 technology. So basically it's got a huge amount more pressure sensitivity and I had a go on that one over there and you really do notice it. Like it's amazing pressure sensitivity. Really, really sensitive. Um, it's got a 3D camera, it's got a, the 16 inch has a dedicated graphics card, NVIDIA Quattro graphics, I believe it's a 4 gig graphics card if I'm not mistaken. So the specs on this thing are intense. I'm so tired, and I've nearly lost my voice. Can you hear it? Oh my God. That was fun though. It's always fun to catch up with the, the gang. <laughs> it's really interesting to me that these companies like Adobe and Wacom and whatever, like you see them as like companies, but when you actually interact with them or work with them or you know get to go to events and, and interact with the people regularly, you don't see Adobe or Wacom, like, I don't see them as a, as a company in the same way. I sort of see it as the people I, I interact with, and the people are awesome. So, anyways, obviously a big thanks to Wacom for having me. That was really cool to check out the devices, also check out the gallery and catch up with familiar faces and meet some really talented and really cool people. That was awesome. And, yeah, that, that Mobile Studio Pro looks pretty sweet. <laughs> I hope to get my hands on one at some point, but... Anyways, I'm done for the day. I'm done for, well, I'm done vlogging for the day. My editing station is still over there and uh, I'm gonna be honest, probably gonna do a bit more editing tonight and then I'll do some more tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. But tomorrow, I wanna get it to the point where tomorrow afternoon I can just finish and then take the weekend. So, a bit left to do. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.